tournament. This time I'd like to do the starting lineups for both teams. First, for the North Middlesex Patriots. Number one, Mallory Farrell. Number two, Lily Martin. Number four, Alicia Prehu. Number six, Samantha Rush. Number nine, Sophia Yamanishi. Number 10, Lauren Torpy. Number 12, Alexis DeSimone. Number 16, Ava Fernandez. Number 17, Amanda Reagan. Number 19, Haley Mills. Number 22, Olivia Robars. The Patriots are coached by Patty McCall. And now the starting lineup for your Oliver Ames Tigers. Number one, Emily Myers. Number two, Lucinda Lee Cotter. Number three, Taylor DeVos. Number eight, Kyla Melton. Number 10, Cameron O'Connor. Number 11, Katie Gibson. Number 14, Alexa Lane. Number 15, Allison Evan. Number 17, Sophia Byron. Number 19, Lauren Selmeyer. Number 20, Mary Cross. The Tigers are coached by Britt Selmeyer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand at this time and move your caps for our national anthem. All right, good evening. This is Jamie Gibson, and welcome to Moscato Stadium in Easton, Massachusetts. This evening, we're going to watch the Oliver Ames Tigers take on the North Middlesex Patriots. This is the first round of the MIA Division II playoffs. All right, whistle started. From Alexa over to Cameron. Cameron plays it over to Kyla Melton. Kyla Melton looking for a through ball to Lucinda. Lucinda working her magic in that back corner. Patriots clear the ball. Nice 
Nice job by OA, opening up the field a little bit right here. On that note, they pushed it out of bounds. Be a throw in for North Middlesex. Lucinda working the ball, ball comes back. Mary Cross plays the ball forward, looking for Alexa Lane. Katie Gibson playing it back. Ball goes out of bound on Alexa. It's gonna be a throw in for the Patriots. Katie Gibson gets her head on the ball. Cameron O'Connor playing it over to Kyla. Kyla's gonna chip it forward to Cameron. Katie does a push forward, looking for Alexa to run that ball down. Nice job by the Patriots, moving that ball. That was given to uh, Maril Mallory. She was going down that left side for North Middlesex. Sophie Byron throws the ball in, plays it back to the captain, Allison Evan. Allison Evan's gonna look to move the ball. Plays it forward to Cameron. Lucinda looking for Katie. Katie Gibson running down the side to see if she can get there in time. Ball goes out of bounds. It's gonna be a throw in for North Middlesex. Starting of the game, it was 41 degrees. Today is a nice Saturday evening. Clear sky, I think by half time, is supposed to be down to about 37. Allison working the ball around. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. Throw in for the freshman. Taylor DeVos. Alexa Lane comes back for the ball. Taylor's gonna play it straight forward, looking for Cameron. Cameron's playing it over, looking for Kyla. You got... Back over to Cameron. Cameron playing it back to Taylor. Taylor playing it back to Mary Cross. Playing it over to Sophie Byron. The Oliver Ames Tigers are playing a 4-4-2 this evening. Looks like offsides. I think it was on Katie Gibson, number 11. One of those bright teal shoes. Cleats. Coming into the tournament, um, North Middlesex, I believe, was somewhere around the 28th. Might have been a little bit lower than that. Um, Oliver Ames is ranked number two in the state for uh, Division Two. Of course, that doesn't mean anything right now because it's uh, got to play to the end. Cameron looking for some opening. Congratulations to Cameron, too. We're going to be playing uh, next year for Boston University. See if Taylor can keep that ball in. Unfortunately, went out. Throne was taken by a Haley Mills. Oh, nice ball. See if Alexa can make her way towards. Oh boy, Lucinda almost there. Great cross by Alexa Lane. Oh, Katie Chip trying to chip it with the outside of her foot, looking for a goal, trying to look for that upper corner. So we're uh, 
about five minutes into the first half of the game. Playing 40 minute halves. Uh, Oliver Ames wins a corner kick. Uh, looks like corner kicks can be taken by Katie Gibson. Defensively, they're going to leave uh, Taylor on the back. Uh, the goalie, Emily Myers, has come out probably about 50 yards. Looks like it was called for a handball. I'm not sure who it was on. Oh, good job by Cameron. Patriots play, play the ball over the top. Sophie Byron, oh, incredibly fast on that backside. Try to give you the number of the uh, North Middlesex player on that, uh, on the right side. Lucinda working her way around, see what she can do here. Oh, playing it back, looking for someone on coming in as, for second support on that. No one there. Oliver Ames trying to work over to the weak side. Looking for Lauren Selmeyer. Lauren's playing that uh, outside left midfielder. Looks like it'll be another throw in for Oliver Ames and Lawrence Elmeyer takes the throw in. Oh boy, Katie's on. Didn't know where the ball went. Got a couple of the high school students here today making a bit of noise out there. It's great to have these nighttime games, Saturday night. Uh, I know you can't see it from there, but the entire sideline is filled with parents and students. The stands are filled, or partially filled. Boys just played a couple minutes ago. They advanced with a two to one win against uh, Shepherd. I can't exactly remember the name, but it was a great win. Congratulations to the boys. Shepherd something. Bishop, I don't know. I'm going to get myself in trouble by trying to make up names. Oliver Ames is going to be doing their first substitution. Carly Gibson is going to come in for Alexa Lane on that uh, right side, right forward. Wow, great job by Lucinda working that ball. Low center of gravity, great foot control. Come on. A little bit too much on that. Carly Gibson was trying to catch up. Ball choked up there for Mallory Morrill in the middle. Carly just tipped that. It looked like she was a little ahead of herself. She was looking to play that back to Katie Gibson. It's going to be a throw in for Oliver Ames. Katie's looking for the ball. Play it over to Kyla Melton. This Oliver Ames team actually has 10 seniors on it, nine that are playing. Unfortunately, one does have, uh, going through ACL, uh, just had ACL surgery, working her way back or rehab on that. Um, it's a very strong senior class. Uh, 
with a uh, the junior and senior class together, I believe is a 4.0 average. So congratulations, these girls work hard on the field and in the classroom. See what Cameron O'Connor can do with this ball. Looking for Carly. Ball goes out, it's gonna be thrown for Oliver Andrews. Oh, that was close. Katie Gibson being subbed out. We have two more subs coming in. Looks like Hallie Kandar will be over on the right mid side. And it looks like Emma Gavin might have come in for Kyla Melton, who's going to be uh, for the other center midfielder. Good throw by Hallie. Sophie Byron tries to go for a hit, goes out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for North Middlesex. Taylor DeVos, Hallie Kandar, looking for Hallie. Ball's gonna go out, it's gonna be a throw in. 28 minutes left on the clock right now. Score is zero to zero. My name is Jamie Gibson. A little bit of a square ball there. Sophie Byron trying to play with, was able to hold on to it. Kicked it off the uh, North Middlesex uh, defender. Oliver Games coach Britt Selmeyer does have a luxury that he has quite a few very strong subs on the bench, allowing him to, uh, and he's already started dipping into it, uh, allowing him to do multiple substitutions throughout the game. Ball got played back to Emily Myers, goalie for Oliver Ames. North Middlesex starting a, a little attack here. Handball. Yeah. Ball bounced off Cameron O'Connor's hand. About 50 yards out. North Middlesex has a good opportunity here. I didn't see the call. I believe it might have been offsides on that. Either way, Mary Cross is going to be taking the kick. Ball gets played forward by a uh, Lauren Torfey. Looking for the uh, right wing. It goes out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for Oliver Ames. Kyla Melton comes back into the game. Great ball. Great ball. Oof. Didn't see who took that. North Middlesex beginning to put a little bit of pressure on Oliver Ames. Another handball. Handball on Hallie Kandar, another senior. Oh, good kick, good kick. Emily Myers has no problem picking that ball up.
It's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex right around midfield. Katie Gibson playing the ball forward, looking for Carly Gibson. No relation, by the way. If there is a relation, I sure don't know about it, considering she's my daughter. That is Katie. Hallie Kandar taking the throw in. Nice job by Haley Mills covering that ball up for uh, North Middlesex. Oh, off the post, off the post. Great shot. It's gonna be a throw in for North Middlesex. Allison Evan, Sophie Byron, Carly Gibson kissed that ball, a little bounce, I don't think she was expecting that. North Middlesex looks like they're playing with a sweeper. Knowing Coach Selmeyer, he'll put an offensive player right on there. Uh, but wasn't sure how that was going to call. But uh, Lucinda going down is going to be a uh, kick for Oliver Ames. Looks like Lauren Selmeyer is going to take it, waiting for everyone to get placed. Uh, wide to the left. Allison Evan, very strong defender. Katie was trying to play that back to Emma Gavin, a freshman on the team. Oliver Ames has two freshmen this year, Emma and uh, Taylor DeVos. Taylor's been playing in the back. Oh. I'm playing it over to Ella McDonough. Ella, another senior. Oh, great ball by Katie Gibson, looking for Cam. Cameron off the bench again. She just uh, had a little rest. Oh, great shot, great shot. Goal by Katie Gibson. Little deflection off the goalie, ball in. We are, so it's 1-0, Oliver Ames, 0-4 North Middlesex. 20 minutes left on the clock in the first half. Kyla plays the ball deep, comfortable for North Middlesex. Goalie, Samantha Roosh. Yeah. 
Samantha's a junior at North Middlesex. North Middlesex is a regional school um, located in the kind of north, let me get this right, northeast of Worcester, right up near the border of New Hampshire. Um, these two teams in regular season never see each other. Uh, it's always fun to play a different team, someone you haven't seen, players you haven't seen. Oliver Ames, uh, we're located pretty much right between Boston and Providence, right next to Foxborough. And we are the town school for Easton, Massachusetts. Foul's gonna be called uh, on Lucinda. It's always good to see the players reach down and give him a hand. She obviously, no, no bad intent on that. Oh, nice, great kick. Allison Evan plays it forward to Alexa Lane. Alexa looking for Lauren Selmar, running down that left side, playing it up to Lucinda. Got a, they got a lot of room on the other side of the field. I'm surprised they didn't swing the ball. Oh, looking for a little Lucinda, sophomore. Really has made a great impact this year. One of the scoring leaders. Incredible ball skills. Oh, looks like Lauren Selma was tripped. I am guessing that's a free kick about 30 yards out that's will be interesting Lauren usually takes them we'll see if Cameron actually comes in these closer ones Cameron uh, O'Connor will take and they're gonna actually leave both of them out there there's actually three I can't see the other one I think it's Sophie Byron I'm I'm guessing Cameron's gonna wind up taking this, this is a pretty close range one There's two defenders in the back. Oh, Sophie Byron. What did I know? And I can't tell you what it was. It looked like a push in the back against Oliver Ames. Now, 17 minutes left in the first half. Score is one for Oliver Ames, zero for North Middlesex. Oh, Sophie ran, Sophie Byron ran out of room back there trying to work that ball down the field. It's gonna be a throw in for Oliver Ames. Ball kind of in the air right now. And it's going to be a uh, free kick for North Middlesex. Looks like a little bit of a push. Ball up in the air by Taylor DeVos. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Cameron plays that ball to Lucinda. So you see if Lucinda can get on that. Ball was pushed back by Jenna McFadden from North Middlesex. Alexa Lane comes off the field. Ella McDonough comes off. Uh, Taylor DeVos comes back in the... <laughs> I drop things on the floor. He comes in the right back position, and it looks like Carly Gibson is playing in that right forward position for Alexa Lane. Boy, oh boy. 
no f fluidity to the game right now. Looks like Lauren Selmeyer will be taking this. About 50 yards out. Oh! I believe Lucinda got a little bit on that ball. Nope, it went out actually on. I, I'm wondering if the goalie touched it. I couldn't see it from here. All right, setting up a corner. Katie Gibson's going to be taking the corner. Nice ball. Lauren Selmeyer coming in, raced in there, trying to look for the header. Ball goes back. It's going to be a, a Oliver Ames throw-in. Sophie Byron takes a quick throw-in. Another throw-in. Oh, Lucinda working that ball around. Let's see if we got a corner out of it. We got another corner. Katie Gibson or... Nope. Katie won't be taking that. Katie... Trying to see who is taking it. I think it's Allison Evan. Another senior. Collision with the goalie. That's going to be against Oliver Ames. Thirteen minutes left in the first half. Score is one. Oliver Ames zero. North Middlesex. Most of the game is being been controlled by Oliver Ames. Cameron looking for Katie, looking for... Ah, Katie worked her way behind the defender on that ball. Taylor plays that back to Mary Cross. Allison Evan. Allison pushing the ball forward. Plays it over. Oh, ball goes out of bounds. Looking for Lauren Selmeyer. I don't think Lauren was expecting it. A little bit off by Allison. Going to be another throw in for North Middlesex. Well, we are 1 0. First goal was scored by Katie Gibson. Oh, nice ball. Nice ball. Oh, Cameron O'Connor. Oh, and it hits the post. It hits the post. Kyla Melton tries, and it's a field goal. Nice combinations. Well, shout out to everyone out there watching. I know there's uh, people across the pond in Europe watching, California, Florida, Connecticut, Quinnipiac College. And of course, Southie in Boston. A little shout out to my own children. All right, Sophie Byron playing the ball up, going to Lauren Selmeyer. Lauren Selmeyer. Ball goes out. It's going to be a throw in. Looks like another sub, both substitutions for one for North uh, Middlesex and then one for Oliver Ames. Katie moves her way into the midfield. I think uh, Cameron came off. Kyla Melton's going to take that right side. It appears that Coach Selmeyer has actually put Cameron O'Connor up in the attacking position. Trying to time that.
Kyla comfortably working that ball back. Ball played up. Ooh, Katie trying to look for another one. It's going to be a goal kick for North Middlesex. Sophie Byron looking for Lauren Selmeyer. Sel Lauren making that run down that left side. Another sub. Uh, Lucinda comes off. And I'm going to guess that's Alexa Lane, but I'm not sure. Yes, it is Alexa. Quick throw in by Oliver Ames. Score 1 0 for Oliver Ames. Eight minutes left in the half. Oh, here we go. North, North Middlesex making its run down. Emily Myers comes out, gets the ball. I'm not sure if that's the same, that right forward, she seemed extremely fast. Kyla loses the ball in the midfield, gains it back. Emily Myers getting a little bit of work in goal. Uh, Katie's got some room here. Let's see if she can set up Cameron. Oh, great job by Cameron. Great job. Cameron O'Connor. 2-0 Oliver Ames. Assist by Katie Gibson to Cameron O'Connor. Cameron's able to put it over in the on the ground on the left corner. Excellent job. Great timing on the pass. Nice wait by Cameron. Coach Selmeyer has changed things up. Pulled Cameron back from <clears throat> from the forward position, put her back in the midfield, which is more definitely more of her position. Um, going into the half of a 2-0 lead is much better than the 1-0 lead, obviously. Foul on Oliver Ames. Kick for our Patriots. Got a little bit of room here for Cameron. Looking for Lucinda Cotter. Lucinda running down that left side. Oh, great foot skills. Lucinda was looking uh, actually over to Cameron again. So Oliver Ames up 2-0 right now. 
Um, first goal was by Katie Gibson. Uh, second goal was actually an assist Katie to Cameron O'Connor. Katie playing, looking for Alexa. Alexa didn't see it coming. Ball uh, bounced off uh, Haley Kandar. Hallie, excuse me. Taylor pushes the ball up to Lucinda. See what Lucinda can do with this. Oh, great defending. Great defending by North Middlesex. Haley Mills takes the throw in. Ooh. Olivia Robarge giving uh, Alice and Evan a little bit of work there in the backfield. Uh, great job by Katie up to Lucinda Cotter. I don't think that's where Hallie wanted that to go. Three minutes left in the first half. Score is 2-0. Oliver Ames makes some more substitutions. This has been uh, pretty scripted from the beginning of the season where uh, Coach Selmeyer has the luxury of sending in many different subs. It starts to pay off in the second half. Oh, that looked like a handball. Yeah, it was a handball. No complaint by the Olive Rams Tigers. Suffered Byron playing the ball up. Lucinda on the run. We'll see if she can keep it in. Ball played back. Allison Evan coming up. Plays to Cameron O'Connor. Cameron looking for her own goal there. Second one, I should say. Nice job by Samantha Rush coming up to get that ball for North Middlesex. I know all the girls had a little bit of jitters before this game. Katie didn't want to eat her dinner. We'll give her some more later on. But they, they, they all were heard them rumbling. Everyone's a little nervous. That's a good thing before a game. A little bit on edge. All right. Under two minutes left in the first half. Uh, clock has been stopped. Time is being kept by the refs. Lauren Selmeyer looking to clear that ball. Ooh. It's going to be a throw in. Ball, ball one out. <laughs> nice job by North Middlesex trying to make something happen in the last minute and a half. Emily Myers takes a punt. Sophie Byron working down that left side. Ball goes out. It's going to be North Middlesex throwing. Nice header by Sophie Byron. Ooh, that looked like a kick right to the face. That was a high kick, kick right to the face. Unintentional.
I think that's Alexa down. We call for a little timeout. Trainer on the field. Under two minutes left in the first half. We're in a uh, injury timeout. Yeah, it looks like that's Alexa Lane. It looks like she's holding her nose. So hopefully everything's okay. All right, it's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex. Around midfield. All right, restart. All right. So that is going to be the end of the first half. Score 2-0. Two, two Oliver aims up by 2. We'll see you in about 10 minutes. Welcome back to the second half of Oliver Ames girls against North uh, Middlesex Patriots. Score right now at the beginning of the second half is 2 to nothing. All right, we're going to start off. Lucinda's running down that left side right now. Does a nice cross. Looking for Cameron. Taylor misses the ball. See if she's going to go forward with it. See if she can keep it in. Ball goes out. It's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex. Beginning of the uh, second half, temperatures drop to a nice comfy 38 degrees. Walked around. Looked like a couple of people are starting to get cold. It's nice here in the booth, though. Sophie Byron works it over to Kyla Melton. Kyla was looking for Cameron. Good to see Alexa Lane back in the game. Uh, apparently the high kick was not a cleat. It was a uh, the ball. So she just got hit in the face by a ball. So. Ooh. It's going to be throwing for Oliver Ames. Katie Gibson will take the uh, throw in. Taylor DeVos tries to do something with it, goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex. Nice job trying to trap the ball. I'm guessing that was a little bit of a. I don't see that foul, but that's okay. It's going to be a free kick for uh, North Middlesex. Kyla Mountain plays the ball forward to Alexa Lane. Alexa Lane turning to the uh, outside. Katie Gibson making the run. Nice pass. Uh, Katie earns a corner out of that. Oliver Ames is going to leave two in the backfield. Emily Myers, the goalie, has come out to probably about 50 yards out right now. All right. Ball looks good. Oh, Lauren Selmeyer just missed that.
ball being played in the midfield. Nice job by uh, Mary Cross. I, I have absolutely no clue what that was for a call. I have no idea. I'm wondering if it was off and off the ball foul. Lauren plays that up to Lucinda. Lucinda working down the trying to get that left side. See if she can win that ball. Oh, great job. Great job. Ball goes out. It's going to be an Oliver Ames ball. Quick throw in by Lauren Selmeyer. Looking for Lucinda. Lucinda Cotter. Plays back to Kyla Melton. Kyla Melton over to Taylor DeVos. Taylor looking for Katie Gibson. Katie plays it back. Oh, they're on. Oh, pulled down in the box. Oh. No foul. No foul. Let them play. Quick throw in by North Middlesex. Ball out. Going to be another throw in. Oh, yeah, a little bit of pressure pushing on Lucinda. It's going to be a great position for Oliver Ames. Cameron O'Connor is going to come over and be taking this free kick. Got a busy house out here tonight. Sidelines are full. Stands are full. Tons of students here. Goal by Alexa Lane. Assist by Cameron O'Connor. Congratulations. Thirty-four minutes left on the clock. Score is three Oliver Ames, zero for North Middlesex. Crab starting to get into the game. Throw in for North Middlesex. Over to Alexa Lane. Lucinda looking to cross it. Earns another throw in. Lauren Selmeyer throw in to Sophie Byron. Sophie Byron back to Allison Evan. Allison looking for Cameron. Miss her. Mary Cross doesn't want to work with that, plays it forward right to Cameron O'Connor. Cameron tries for a shot. Ball goes out. It's going to be a goal kick for North Middlesex. Header by Lucinda Cotter. Lexa Lane trying to work her way in there. Ball goes out. It's going to be another goal kick for North Middlesex. Taylor DeVos, freshman. Katie Gibson on the defense back. Mary Cross plays that ball forward. Guess it was a foul. Again, I, I, I'm guessing a push. Did not see it. 
My Lauren Selmire will be taking this just about 40 yards out, a little over 40. It's a little low, trying to look for the uh, middle of the field. Allison Evan takes out, or actually Lauren Selmeyer takes out Allison Evan on that one. Looks like Allison's okay. Straighten out her shin guards. Throw in to Lucinda Cotter. Oh, she makes the turn. Great cross. Katie, oh, it goes over. Weight, her weight was back a little bit on that one, forcing the ball high. Alexa Lane comes off. Uh, Carly Gibson now in on the right forward side. Oh, Lucinda working. Playing the ball. Lauren Selmeyer on the run, on the run. Oh, ball goes out. Another throw in for Oliver Ames. Kyla Melton putting the pressure on in the mid from the center midfield position. Kyla just came back to Oliver Ames. Uh, she spent her earlier years in the school system. Um, was gone for her freshman, sophomore, and junior year, but it's great to have her back in this program and here at Oliver Ames. She's been a big addition to the team. All right, we have another set piece for Lauren Selmeyer. Oh, Cameron trying to get on that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Coach Selmeyer continues to move his players around. Lawrence Selmeyer just came off the field. Look at, oh, Lucinda. Lucinda gets on that ball. Looking for Carly. Carly's going to work her way. Plays the ball forward to Cameron. Ugh. Ball out. It's going to be thrown for Oliver Ames. Ball into Katie Gibson. Looking to kind of rainbow that over her head. Didn't go the way she wanted. Ooh. Here we go. First, Alice Nevin plays it back to Emily Myers. Emily Myers, oh, my goodness. Emily, for a goalie, has great foot skills. She uh, makes a great field player. Um, which makes even a better goalie. During the travel season, she often will just play in the field and doesn't even play in goal. Great job by Mary Cross defending that. Great job. Good pressure here by North Middlesex. Ali Kandar was trying to feed that down the side to Lucinda. North Middlesex is definitely putting some pressure on right now. A little bit of hip checking going on by Carly Gibson. Katie Gibson coming over the side, wins the ball, pushing it over to Carly. Uh, Cameron has the ball. Game has definitely become a little bit more physical now.
A little extra push by, can't tell if it was Katie, who it was, it's gonna be a, a free kick for the Patriots. Coach Patty McCall has definitely told her North Middlesex players to be first to the ball and to play a little bit harder. They can definitely see a difference in this game. You throw in for Oliver Ames. Three more subs come in. Taylor DeVos comes off. Lucinda Cotter comes off. Hallie Kandar comes off. Ella McDonough comes in in the back right. Looks like Emma Gavin's coming in the middle. I can't see the far side what happened, but. So it looks like Coach Selmeyer has also has pushed Cameron O'Connor up into a forward position again. Now oh, Cameron, Cameron has a little bit of room there. Oh! I think that was Sophie Byron with the header on that. Oh, and I take that back. That was Carly Gibson. I'm surprised if uh, Sophie was that far up from the backfield. Just missed it, too. Ball that's going to be thrown for Oliver Ames. Lauren Selmeyer takes the throw in. Oh, good try by Kyla Melton. Samantha Hodgson is able to pick that up without much, or excuse me, Samantha Rush. I apologize on that. Ball gets played up. Carly Gibson playing the ball. Nice ball to Cameron O'Connor. Cameron O'Connor, let's see if she can stay on it. Here she goes. Oh. Another good job by Samantha Rush. Twenty-three minutes left in the second half. Score is three for Oliver Ames, zero for North Middlesex. Yeah, um, Emma Gavin was clipped on the foot on that. That'll be a free kick for Oliver Ames. Dead center. I'm I'm guessing this is gonna go to Cameron. It's gonna have a corner kick. Alice Nevin's gonna be doing the corners. Oliver Ames is setting up in a bunch formation from what it looks like. So we'll be, let's look for the run by Lauren Selmeyer. Kyla Melton on the run there, letting the ball go out of bound. A 
Lauren Selmeyer is going to take the uh, throw in. More substitutions by Coach Selmeyer. Lucinda Cotter comes back into the game. Katie Gibson comes in, I believe, for Cameron. No. Katie's been pushed from that outside midfielder into the center midfielder position while Cameron's up on the top. One of the strengths of this team this year has been the flexibility of some of the players. Written. Coach Selmeyer has played many of these players in different positions. Kick by Emily Myers. Cameron O'Connor on the run again. Oh. Oh, Hallie Kandar trying to get her foot on that. She was a little bit ahead of it. Katie Gibson passes back to Sophie Byron. Sophie Byron working it up over to Lauren Selmeyer. Lauren Selmeyer. Ball goes out. It's going to be another throw in. Oh. But it's a throw in for North Middlesex. Ooh, over the back. That would probably get called. Yep. Yeah, Sophie Byron did. You know, Lauren Selmeyer has her hands up in the air, but Sophie Byron used all of her jumping ability to climb over the back of that player. Kick was take, taken by Jenna McFadden from North Middlesex. Kyla Melton works her way around Jenna, actually. Ball gets played up. It looks like Jenna Gavin on the run for it. Alexa Lane is going to come in. Not sure who she came in for, but Cameron O'Connor went uh, back into the midfield. And Alexa made her way back up to the top. Cameron plays that back to Sophie. Lauren Selmeyer on that left side. Cuts it in. Oh, nice foot skills. Nice job. Earns a corner. Katie Gibson's going to come over and take this corner. Leaving Ella McDonough and Sophie Byron in the back. Allison Evan is in the... Oh! No! Oh! It's in by somebody. I'm going to just have to look to see who... Uh, I think it's Sophie Byron. Sophie Byron got that goal. I couldn't tell from here. Eighteen minutes left in the second half. Score is four for Oliver Ames, zero for North Middlesex. Timeout called. Clock stopped.
Oliver Ames set up, waiting for North Middlesex to come back. All right, waiting for the restart. And restart. Sophie Byron loses the ball, comes back hard on defense, trying to grab, grab that. Lucinda earns a throw in. Lauren Selmeyer is going to be taking the throw in. Lou plays it over to Cameron O'Connor. Ella McDonough, Mary Cross comes in from the backfield, just clears that ball. Olivia Robarge was lurking there for a run, so didn't want to take the chance on it. The forwards for uh, North Middlesex, I was able to watch the game against Nosset and uh, both forwards were very dangerous. I mean, they came, North Middlesex came back from a 3-1 um, deficit in the second half to win the game in overtime, 4-3. Um, dangerous team. They've been having a very good season. All right, it's going to be a free kick for North Middlesex. Ball goes out, throw in. Emma Gavin puts it over to Kyla Melton. Kyla Melton looks like she slipped on ice or something. Let's see if Lauren can keep that in, able to keep that in. Carly Gibson on the run. It's going to be a uh, goal kick for North Middlesex. Coach Selmeyer has switched out uh, the goalie. Emily Myers has come off. Uh, Catherine Farley is going into goal now. Ella Schwartz up there in the forward position. She just came on as a forward. Emma Gavin. Trying to play the ball back to Lucinda Cotter. Ball goes out. It's going to be a throw in for Ella McDonough. Oliver Ames. On that note, she's taken off. Can't see who actually did that throw in. Might have been Taylor DeVos. Ball goes out. It's going to be a goal kick for Kathleen Farley. Mm -hmm. 
14 minutes left in the second half. Score is four for Oliver Ames, zero for North Middlesex. Allison Evans is going to be taking the goal kick. Lucinda playing the ball forward for Ella Schwartz. Ella Schwartz has had a very good year. Not playing as much as many of the starters, but she has come in and con contributed. Kyla Melton comes in for Lauren Selmeyer on that left mid position. Jeffrey Byron pushes the ball forward. Looking for Ella. Oh, ball goes out. It's going to be, I think it's a corner kick. Now it's a throw in. Oh, what do I know? <laughs> it's a corner kick. I had one ref saying a throw in. I had another one saying a corner kick. So Katie Gibson takes the corner. North Middlesex making their way down. Ball, that's going to be a, a goal kick for Oliver Ames. Emma Gavin comes in for that. It's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex. Looks like Coach Selmeyer is putting in some more subs. Emma Gavin's unable to keep that ball in. It's going to be a corner kick for the Patriots. And ball goes out of bounds for a goal kick. Eleven minutes left in the second half. Carly Gibson looking to keep that ball going. Plays the ball to Emma Gavin. Emma Gavin. Looks like that's Katie Wilson playing up in the midfield. That'll be called, yeah. A little bit of an extra aggression there by Sophie Byron. Yeah, I think I called Katie Wilson, uh, Kyla Melton a couple times. I apologize on that. 
Not not used to seeing her actually play in the midfield. She's usually a back. Playing the ball forward. Ella Schwartz on the run. Sophie just keeps it up in the, uh, keep a little bit in that backfield. Didn't want to get that ball in front of her and back of her. A little chip shot by Carly Gibson, goes out of bounds. I think Oliver Ames is pretty comfortable with a 4-0 lead right now, giving them the opportunity to continue to sub people in and out. Looks like Lynn Alhaic has just come in in the midfield, number 39. Molly Capice in the backfield. Another substitution in. Ball makes it by. I, I can't even tell who that made it by. I didn't even see it. Uh, another substitution for goalie. Janaya is now in for goalie right now for Oliver Ames. Jenna Nelson playing the ball forward to Ella Schwartz. Katie Wilson looking for the ball up on the top. Looks like Rihanna Fisher playing on that left back. Allison Evan plays it back to Janiah. Nice ball out by Janiah. Jenna Nelson was looking for uh, Ella Schwartz. Janiah takes that ball comfortably. Six minutes, 40 seconds left in the uh, second half. Score is four for Oliver Ram, zero for North Middlesex. Jenna Nelson playing the ball forward. Playing it back to Hallie Kandar. Oh, beautiful ball by Hallie. Allison Evan is now going to come off the field. Kicked by Mary Cross. Oh, nice little foot skills. Little Hayek. Mary Cross trying to keep that ball away. Nice job by Mary. Olivia Robards was trying to get that ball around her. Five minutes left in the second half. 
clock has now stopped. Time is being kept on the field. Ball looking for Ella Schwartz. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for North Middlesex. Ball goes out. Little Hagfoot playing it forward. Ella Schwartz, a little bit of room to move with it. Didn't actually see what that foul was going to be. There's a bunch of new players. I'm trying to keep up with who's on the field right now. Um, there's a bunch of players who, who have been pulled up from the JV team. So if I'm quiet for a little bit, it's because I'm trying to look at the paper to figure out who they are. Katie Wilson on the run with that ball. Ooh, tough giveaway right there. Janaya does a nice job. Little giveaway by Ali Manson in the middle of the field. All, all good though. Laney Carroll up in the uh, top left corner. It's Ford playing over to Jenna Nelson. Playing it up. Looks like it's a foul against uh, North uh, Middlesex. Uh, Jenna Nelson went down a little hard on that one. Number 22, Laney Carroll, is going to take this uh, free kick. Oh, nice kick. All right, according to my clock, we got about four minutes left, but I don't know how much additional time was put on the field. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. It should be about one minute left. Nice corner kick. Oh, goes in the back of the goal. Time should almost be out. Another substitution by North Middlesex. I'm thinking that should just about do the game. Referee's looking at his watch. Pushing the back. Looks like it might have been against uh, maybe Holly Kandar. Allie comes in with a quick header. Katie Wilson working her way down the field. Nice job, Katie. See if Oliver Ames can hang on for this last 30 seconds. Oh. Jenna Nelson running down that right side, looking for Ella Schwartz. My clock is running at 43 minutes right now. 
All right, on that note, end of the game. Uh, great season for North Middlesex. Congratulations to them. Um, however, the win is by Oliver Ames, four to zero. Um, we'll be having another game Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening, probably Wednesday evening. We'll know more shortly. And a big thanks to Easton Community Access Channel for coming to our game tonight and uh, uh, videoing the boys and the girls game. All right, see you soon.